Hello everyone, in this video we are giving the system of equations. We have square root of x plus y is equal to 45. Then we also have x plus square root of y is equal to 87. And we have to find the values of x and y where x and y are positive integers. But before we begin, if you are new here, please subscribe. Now let's get started. First, we will call this equation equation 1 and then call this equation equation 2. Then we will say equation 1 minus equation 2. So we will have square root of x plus y minus x plus square root of y is equal to 45 minus 87. So we have square root of x plus y. Then let's distribute this negative 1. So you have x, negative x minus square root of y. And this is equal to 2, 4, negative. Great. Now let's group those with the square root and then those without square root. So you would have square root of x minus square root of y plus y minus x is equal to negative 42. So let's keep this. We have square root of x minus square root of y. Then from here, we will factor negative 1 out. So you have minus x minus y is equal to negative 42. So we will keep it. We have square root of x minus square root of y minus. Now, we can write x as square root of x squared minus. We can also write y as square root of y squared. And this is equal to negative 42. Let me put this one in parentheses as well. Now, we have square root of x minus square root of y. This is difference of two squares, so we can write it as square root of x plus square root of y times square root of x minus square root of y. And this is equal to negative 42. We have square root of x minus square root of y. And then we have the exact same thing here. So let's factor it. We have square root of x minus square root of y times here we are left with 1. Then from here we are left with this. But we will distribute this negative 1, right? So you will have minus square root of x minus square root of y is equal to negative 42. Then let's go ahead and then multiply each side of the equation by negative 1. But this negative 1, we are going to multiply it by this term over here. So we will keep this one. We have square root of x minus square root of y. Then if we multiply this negative 1 by these three terms, we will have positive square root of x plus square root of y minus 1 is equal to 42. This 42 over here is the same as 1 times 42. It is also the same as 2 times 21. It is the same as 3 times 14. And lastly, it is the same as 6 times 7. Because from the question it was stated that x and y are positive integers, it means you are not going to consider the negative part. Right. What does these factors over here mean? It means that when square root of x minus square root of y is equal to 1, this whole thing is equal to 42, and the other way around, right? So what we will do is we will let this square root of x minus square root of y equal to these factors. Then square root of x plus square root of y minus 1 will be equal to the factors on this side. So we would have square root of x minus square root of y is equal to 1. 
it is also equal to 2, it is equal to 3, and lastly, it is equal to 6. And then, square root of x plus square root of y minus 1 is also equal to 42, 21, 14, and 7. Now, let's call this equation, equation star, and then call this equation, equation hash. So let's add equation star and then equation hash. So straight away we see that this negative square root of y will cancel this positive square root of y. So we are left with 2 times square root of x minus this one over here is equal to 1 plus 42 that is 43. 2 plus 21 we have 23, 3 plus 14, we have 17, and then 6 plus 7, that is 13. Now let's go ahead and then move this negative 1 to the right, so it will become positive. So we have 2 times square root of x is equal to 43 plus 1, we have 44. 23 plus 1, we have 24. Then 18, and lastly, 14. Now we want x. Let's divide through by 2. So that this will cancel this. We have square root of x is equal to 22, 12, 9, 1, 2, and 7. So this means that x is equal to 22 squared, which is 484. Then 12 squared is 144, 9 squared is 81, and then 7 squared is 49. So these are the values of x. Now let's go ahead and then find the values for y. From the first equation, we know that square root of x plus y is equal to 45, right? So it means that from this equation, y is equal to 45 minus square root of x. But we know square root of x from this equation. When square root of x is 22, we have y to be 23. And then when square root of x is equal to 12, we have y to be 33. And then when square root of x is 9, we have y to be 36, and lastly, when square root of x is 7, we have y to be 38. So these are also the values for y. So it means that when x is 484, its corresponding y value will be 23. So I have grouped them here. When x is 144, its corresponding y value is 33 in that order. Now let's go ahead and then test which of these solutions satisfy the equation. If you pay attention to this equation very well, we have square root of x here and then square root of y over here. Then on the right hand side of the first equation, we have 45, which is a decimal numeral. And then the second equation, we have 87, which is also a decimal numeral. So it means that the values of x with its corresponding y value must all be a perfect squared. So if you look at this value of x, this is a perfect squared but this 23 is not a perfect square. This 144 is a perfect square, but this is not a perfect square. 81 is a perfect square, and then 36 is also a perfect square. And lastly, this is a perfect square, but this is not a perfect square. So it means that this is the only x and y values that can satisfy the equation, right? So let's go ahead and then test and see. We have Square root of x, x is 81, so we will have square root of 81 plus y is 36, and this must be 45. Square root of 81 is 9, 9 plus 36, that is of course equal to 45. Now let's test from this equation. We have x to be 81, then plus y is square root of 36. Square root of 36 is 6. 
plus 81, which is equal to 87. So it means that the only values for x and y that satisfy the equation are 81 and 36 respectively. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.